Hey guys, welcome back to new mini tutorial on how to create a new activity and how to navigate from one activity to a different activity. So if you have a button in one activity and if you click on that, it will take you to a new activity. As you can see, it took us to activity B and also I have included a back button in the action bar where it will take us to the previous or the parent activity. So as you can see, it took us to the previous activity, which is activity A. So if this is what you are looking for, don't worry, I've got your back and let's get started on coding. All right guys, so once you have created your new project, you will end up having with two files. The first one is the activity main.xml. This is where you will create your layout and main activity.coplan. This is where you will put all of your logic. So this is your first activity. And now you need to create your second activity so that you can navigate between them. So go to your applications, right click on that, click on new, and then go to activity and then click on empty activity. And in here, name your activity, which is second activity, and click on finish. All right, so as you can see, now we have two more files for the second activity. So let's close these for a moment. And now you need to go to your first activity, and this is where you will create your button. So split the screen so that you write your code here. And all you need to do, change this to button. And now you need to change this text to second activity. And do not forget to provide an ID so that we can access it in mainactivity.coplan. And the ID would be second activity button. All right, so once you have done that, you need to go to mainactivity.coplan so that we set on click listener on this button. And you need to set on click listener for the button in on create methods. So second activity button and then set on click listener. So in onclick listener, you need to redirect the activity from main activity to second activity. So we need to create an intent object. So val intent, and that would equal to intent. So in the intent constructor, it will take two arguments. The first one is the package context. So this, and the second argument is the second activity class. So second activity, and then we have um, class.java. So once you have the object ready, you need to start a new activity and then pass the intent object to it. And this will take us from this activity to the second activity. So let's run our app to see the result. All right, so as you can see, we are in the first activity and we have the button. So if we click on this button, it should take us to the second activity. And as you can see, it took us to the second activity, but we cannot go back to the previous activity because we have not enabled the back button in the action bar. And we can also change this action bar title to the second activity. So let's do that. All right, so we need to go to the second activity because this is where we will put the back button in the action bar in the onCreate method. So you need to create an action bar object. So val action bar and then call on support action bar. And so once you have done that, you need to check if the action bar is not null. And you can do that in two ways. It's either you have an if statement action bar, and then this will not equal to null. And then you can go to action bar dot title and then set the title to um, second activity. And also you can do it in a different way rather than writing an if statement, you can call the action bar and then put double exclamation before calling the title. And then you can set this to second activity. And I believe this is much cleaner. So we will keep that. All right. So once you have done that, you need to enable the back button. So have the object ready and then call on set display home as up enable and then pass true to it so that you have the back button. So if you run our app to see the result and let's go to the second activity. As you can see, we have second activity and we have the back button. So if you click on that, it will not take us to the previous activity because we need to identify the parent of this activity. So you need to go to projects and then apps and then go to manifests and then open Android manifest. And in here you can see your activities and we are looking for the second activity. So right before the closing tag, you can call parent activity name. And the parent for the second activity is the previous activity, which is the main activity. So click on that and that should do the job. So if you run our app one more time, so if you click on this button, it will take us to the second activity. And if you click on this back button, it will take us to the previous activity. And you can also change this action bar title 
to first activity and you can just copy this from second activity and go to the main activity and in main activity you can paste it here and change this to first activity and if you run your app one more time as you can see we have first activity and then we can navigate to the second activity and then go back to the first activity all right guys we have done it if this is your first time here and you want to learn on how to build mobile applications web development and programming tutorials in general please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything and see you guys in the next video and happy coding